Peace and blessings, guys. Peace and blessings. Shalom, shalom. It's Mark the Messenger. We're back with another video. This one's going to be about spiritual people are being watched and we are under attack. We're under attack heavy. And I'm going to tell you guys why. And before I tell you guys why, um, I'm very shocked and surprised in the comment section of that video. There was hundreds of people telling me, you know, yeah, Mark, you know, I was thrown in the mental hospital too when I gave my life to God. Um, you know, when they were trying to do the right thing and they were thrown in a mental hospital too. And it has me thinking that us spiritual people you know they call it schizophrenia but what god made us seers okay he allowed us to see what the, the unseen okay the unseen spiritual realm that no one that when you once you talk about it you're just so weird and crazy to people okay but god is blessing with a spiritual gift okay when god's blessing with spiritual gifts to the people of this world it's going to be foolish to, to them so they're going to call you weird or crazy or you need to take your meds they're going to try to condemn you but always understand this the harder the, the the all the battles that you're facing, guys, you getting thrown in jail, you getting thrown in a mental hospital, all the battles you're facing is actually preparing you for what God has called you to do. Now it's unfortunate that many of us we don't reach our calling because we're not strong enough. Okay, we're not strong enough to fight these demons uh, out of us. Okay, whether any guys, I tell you this all the time. Yes, any addictions you have, drug use, uh, sexual addictions like porn and masturbation, all that is linked to demonic spirits. And if you keep if you have that burning lust, burning desire to do that type of stuff every day, you're, gonna, you're never going to reach what God has called you to be. I'm telling you guys, you're getting thrown in a mental hospital multiple times. Okay, they're diagnosing you with mental disorders, which I already told you guys that is just demonic spirits. You got to understand, you got a big calling on your life. Okay, and there's a lot of things that the devil knows what, you, what you're capable of. What I mean by capable of is you saving souls for the kingdom of God. So what is Satan going to do? He's just trying to keep you stuck. It's like every single time I was about to level up, get closer to God, it's like when the persecution started to turn up. When a new devil, like I said, new levels of devils, then a new devil just comes my way and tries to drain, you know, put me, put, put me back down, just like a crab in a bucket. I'm sure I, cr I climb out of that bucket. And what is that bucket a symbolism of? Depression, loneliness, sadness, uh, sadness uh, just down, down bad, <laughs> you know, down bad. And I'm sure I climb out of that. There's always going to be a devil, always, every time you level up in anything in life, especially when it comes to God, the devil wants you to stay in his kingdom and darkness. Because once you get into the light, you now have power through the Holy Spirit to save other people through your testimony, through the word of God. And the devil doesn't want you to do that. So he has you being watched, monitored, monitored. You know, we call it monitoring spirits, which all that guys is just demons. When people say monitoring spirits, you have people who are sent to just to watch you, okay? In the either in the spiritual realm or in the physical realm, because the Bible says, guys, I'll leave a verse somewhere right here. It says that don't be um, don't be forgetful to entertain strangers, for some have entertained angels unaware. So, which means that in in the world we live in, right, angels could come in the form of a human form, okay? Like, not to say that I'm an angel, but it could look just like me. You know, it could look just like you. My experiences when I was in the mental hospital, guys, I met a lot of angels. Now, that's for another video because it's going to be a long story. But the, the angels that I've met always came in the form of being homeless, being broke. You would never expect them to be angels. It wouldn't be someone who's in a mansion, rich. Like, you, you know, like it was actually someone who was like completely like, you know, homeless. Okay. Um, okay. Anyway, so if, if the Bible says that if we could see uh, if. if if we can entertain angels in human form, that means there's also demons in human form too. And so one thing about these demons, dude, they're monitoring spirits. They're watching you. Some of them come disguised as a friend or a family or your boyfriend, your girlfriend. Okay. And they're just sent to sent from your life by the devil. Okay. To destroy you, to distract you from your calling. Okay. And one thing about these devils that it's very tricky because like I said, in my videos in the past that they cut, they tell you everything you want to hear. Okay. And their whole mission Okay, the modern spirits when they once they get you know once they get around you, it's just to keep you down, keep you down in the bottom. And once you try to level up, like this is how you know, guys, you're in a relationship, you're in a friendship with someone who's not, who's not, it was not designed by God, okay? Because the Bible says that when what God brings together, let no man separate. The thing is, not all the time that people are coming in your life is from God. So this is how you could tell, guys. This is how you could tell someone who's sent from the devil, someone who's sent from God. When it's time for you to level up, are they going to be supportive? Are they going to have your back? Or are they going to level up with you? You know, uh, the Bible says two is better than one. So are they going to level up with you? Or when it's time for you to level up, it's time for you to, you know, keep these commandments, follow the word of God. Okay. Uh, whatever, whatever God has calling you to do. Okay. Believe in the son, Jesus Christ. When it's time for you to do that, are they being used to make fun of you, laugh, scoff? Oh, you're just so weird and crazy. 
you know, uh, no longer wanted to be your friend, no longer wants to be your friend no more. Okay, there's a lot of times, guys, those type of people, they were not, they were not meant to be in your life. So understand this as a spiritual person, you are an enemy, you are a threat. Okay, because not only you could see, but you know that you, you're spiritual, so you have the Holy Spirit, and now you have the power to, to save souls for the kingdom of God. And the devil doesn't want you to do that. So what is he gonna do? Persecute you, get thrown in a mental hospital, and see when you get thrown in a mental hospital, that's an attack. That's attacking your faith because it's like, wait, hold up, I'm trying to do the right thing. I'm trying to live for God. Now I'm getting persecuted. Now I'm getting thrown in a mental hospital. Maybe he starts to entertain those thoughts. You know, maybe I should just do what I was doing before. You know, stay a low level being. No, don't do that. Okay, and see, how do you protect your mind, guys, against these demonic thoughts? These not just demonic, these negative thoughts, these negative emotions, uh, fear, worry, depression, doubt, anxiety. How do you guard your mind from that, guys? It's through the word of God, the helmet of salvation. We must put on the full armor of God on, guys, because we don't battle against flesh and blood. And these people, guys, are coming with hidden motives, hidden agendas, you know, complimenting you, telling you good things. And then a couple months later, you see that the horns coming manifesting in them. Okay, how do you protect your mind? Okay, because it's not only a spiritual war, but it's a war for your mind. Okay, the devil was plant; he's trying to plant seeds. You know, the Bible talks about this. A parable. Jesus says that the parable of the um, of the wheat and the tares, and the enemy, the devil, came to sow uh, tares among the wheat. He was planting seeds in their mind, and seeds of doubt, seeds of corruption. Okay, seeds of fear. So you got to be guarding your mind and always understand that yes, you're being watched. Yes, that there's demons who who are trying to plot against you. But also understand that there's angels who also protect you too. So there's no need to live in fear. There's no need to to wonder how uh what, how what, no there's no need to I mean we gotta say it in prayer like there's no need to like people tell me this all the time like you know I, I struggle with worry and depression and uh my fault guys it's very windy where I'm at people are saying that they struggle with that type of stuff right but you got to keep in mind that once you once you tap in and understand you have the Holy Spirit what is there to fear you are protected. Okay, the people who are not protected are the people who are lukewarm, the people who are worldly, the people who are just, you know, being disobedient. Because the Bible says that, um, the, uh, I think it's the Antichrist spirit dwells within the disobedient, the children of disobedient. I'll leave a verse right here. I don't want to say that verse wrong. But uh, if you're disobedient, if you're, if you're operating on the other side, then yes, those, th those thoughts are going to enter, you know, gonna, you're going to entertain those thoughts and you won't have no protection because our power is not only just through prayer and stuff like that, but it's also through your obedience. That's one of the most, that's one of the strongest weapons, in my opinion, to fight this first war is your obedience, okay? And that's a thing that a lot of people are not willing to do because that comes with denying yourself. That comes with picking up your cross daily and see, what does it mean to pick up your cross? It means to go through the burdens uh, we know what, what Jesus Christ said, the burdens of being betrayed, being hated on, uh, people falsely accusing you, people lying on you, uh, people no longer wanting to be your friend no more. So always understand that you have a high call in your life. Don't let that just because you got thrown in a mental hospital or just because what happened in your past, that doesn't define you as a person and it doesn't define your future. Because always understand that. Yes, there's going to be people who will laugh at you and stuff like that and all that type of stuff. But always keep in mind that there's a war at hand and even though you're being targeted, even though you're being watched by people, okay, by the demons, that's what they are, monitoring spirits, you're being watched by these type of spirits, just keep on elevating, okay, keep on elevating, keep on rising to the top, and just because you don't see what you want to see within three months, within six months, that doesn't mean nothing, you got to keep on, keep on staying on that path, keep on staying on that righteous path, that narrow path, so always understand this, guys, don't live in fear, yes, the gang stalking will happen, um, there's always going to be demons sent, a, a satanic agents there's always good people sent uh, your way to hurt you to cast a stone to belittle you to put you down don't let that get to you guys it's all part of the plan and always understand that the same stones that they throw at you especially as, as a man as a king use those stones to build your, build your kingdom build your castle as i'm telling you guys these demons are out here they're watching they're watching everything you do I'm telling you guys satan knows everything about you he knows what you like he knows bro when he tempted jesus christ when he was fasting, you don't think that de the devil didn't know what, what his weakness was? He knew. But we but see, the thing is, what Jesus, he, he didn't fold. And you can't fold either. I love you guys so much. If you have already, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. I'm out. Peace.